Okay, we're here in St. Catharines talking with Andrew Randall at the first uh, camp for the uh, new Pro Continental Team Spider Tech powered by C10. Uh, Andrew, um, you're I guess one of the veterans of the team now. You're just finishing your second year with the team. Mm -hmm. uh, it must be pretty exciting to be able to now move up a level to Pro Continental. Yeah, yeah, it's been a long time coming. So uh, all the hard work that Steve and Jose has have put in and the support of the Spider Tech sponsorship and uh, you know, the rise that we did last year, I think we're all contributing towards uh, the next step up, so it's great. Now, for you, I mean, it was a difficult year. On the one hand, you had some phenomenal rides. I mean, your race yeah. with Will at the uh, Nationals, uh, <laughs> coming, coming, <laughs> coming down to that sprint, uh, yeah. I mean, and some other very, very strong rides, mm -hmm. and, then, um, and then breaking your leg in early August. Yeah. Um, um, so you weren't able to do the Pro Tour races, mm -hmm. but I mean, um, how, how, are you, how are you doing now? Yeah, so yeah, I broke my leg in August. Um, I have a pin and a screw. I got operated that night with a pin and a screw in the femur. Um, was able to hobble around the next morning already, so that I, you know, I mean, I was depressed, but uh, that was heartening. And uh, so, yeah, so four months on, you know, I started on the turbo, just turning the legs in circles, but uh, Kevin Jardine with Spider Tech has been an incredible therapist, giving me some exercises to really uh, stimulate the muscles again. Um, and now, yeah, pretty much I'm training uh, full on, maybe a bit less on the hours than I would be otherwise, but uh, the femur's all healed. Now it's just uh, some complications with the inflammation in the hip. But uh, yeah, overall it's, I mean, phenomenal. I'm really happy. Yeah, we, we actually did some testing the other day um, to determine our weaknesses uh, in core strength and that kind of stuff, and you know, given having broken my leg recently, I've actually I actually did quite well, so it was good. Okay, so I mean, going forward for this season, um, I know I talked with Steve, and they're talking about doing a European campaign in mm -hmm. like February, March, April, sort of thing. Is is that something that you're preparing towards to be able to do? Yep, yeah, that's the plan. Um, yeah, like I said, so I'm training full time, and the hip seems to be able to handle. You know, I've been down in California for the last, uh, well, I went down the week before the camp to uh, be in some warm weather and uh, climbing in the hills was no problem. Uh, you know, I started with some quality, uh, well, interval type work, I guess you would call it, and uh, big gear stuff. And it, it, yeah, the hip seems fine. So, yeah, I anticipate that I'll be in Europe in February and be going just fine, yeah. So for you, I mean, going to pro continental status. I mean, um, how 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 big a deal is that? Ah, oh, it's huge. I mean, really, the 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 races that we're going to be able to do this year are races I read about as a kid in Winning Magazine. You know, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, even what we were doing last year with California and that kind of stuff, and you know, had I not broken my leg, the pro tour. That's those are all great events. But now I think. The difference will be we will consistently be in those bigger events, and that's that's really key, not only to uh, you know the next step in a career and being exciting, but also the development of some of the younger guys on the team uh, and Canadian cycling. I mean, it'll take everything to the next level. No, I mean I, because you you've been involved with some of the biggest you know projects in Canadian cycling, like like Symmetrics. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, you you've been through this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long process. I was saying to some of the guys just this week, um, you know, now we have a pro tour or a pro continental team. We have the junior development program going on. Uh, you know, uh, the infrastructure in Canada with cycling is, is quite impressive now. And I compare that to the 90s when I started riding, um, there was nothing. You know, <laughs> I kind of wonder how I hung on this long, to be honest. But now the support is there and it's, it's, uh, it's fantastic. So it's, it, I think it has been an evolution. Um, you know, Jet Fuel, Symmetrics, now Spider Tech, powered by C10. Each project has, has sort of been the next level and, and grown, and so has Canadian Cycling. So it's great. So goals for you for this year? Uh, well, we haven't really talked um, specifically what we're going to be doing. I'd you know, I think. To reassure myself and Steve, the, the plan is to try and be going quite well in the spring, um, just to know that, that I'm capable of doing it. Um, but obviously, I'd like to win nationals. <laughs> <laughs> I've been close a couple of times in the last few years, and uh, I mean that's always a goal. But I think uh, you know a good ride in California, for example, Philadelphia, uh, similar goals to last year, really. But I think the program we will be doing with the higher level stuff will just make us be that much sharper and better for those events. Um, so yeah, you know, California, 
Philly Nationals and then hopefully the Pro Tour races at the at the end of, of the season. Okay, well good luck. Thanks very much.